a tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to talk about hilt okay so uh, let me go to my if you remember i in my previous lecture i talked about uh, uh, dagger right uh, dagger had a lot of boilerplate codes right as you remember in my previous lecture videos but uh, this time we're going to use hilt because hilt uh, doesn't have a lot of boilerplate codes right so it's um, the good thing about hilt is like it's pretty uh, uh, it has less boilerplate codes and it's uh, uh, it's one of the modern way of implementing uh, dependency injection in Android application okay um, so uh, and some of it uh, is also like if you are dealing with the life cycle uh, of objects linked with activities and fragments which leads us to create sub components right other parts uh, are also around the uses of vmodel so uh, to simplify dagger because dagger was pretty uh, like a uh, lot of boilerplate codes you need to write a lot of code right so uh, so uh, so this uh, android uh, google decided to develop a new library uh, on top of dagger called hilt okay actually hilt is pretty much developed on top of dagger okay so to make you uh, make the uh, concept much clearer okay so this library this hilt library simpli simplifies much of the dagger uses through the use of a new annotation which leads to uh, to uh, reduce more boilerplate code uh, that can be generated right right so to use hilt uh, so uh, you can just write here a note that less boy boilerplate codes and uh, it's uh, built on top of dagger okay so these are the two uh, important concepts that you have to understand and uh, what else so we are gonna re uh, rewrite this same application that we have uh, followed in my previous lecture videos uh, pre previously I used dagger uh, to uh, uh, to uh, introduce the dependency injection in this uh, application but here we are going to use instead of dagger 2 we are going to use hilt uh, and see the difference between uh, the, uh, the the code okay and see which is much more easier okay and so first important uh, concept is like obviously you need to uh, add the necessary dependencies so you need to add these dependencies for hilt uh, and uh, just be careful you uh, also need to add the plugins uh, for um, for the hilt and also another interesting thing is like guys you have to also if you uh, in your pro project level uh, gradle you just also need to add this uh, specify this version and apply to false okay uh to make it working and now um uh now what else okay so let me go to my yield activity it's the same active uh, like pretty much same activity with a simple uh, button which creates and uh, generates the random number right so we're going to use it using hilt uh, I mean we're gonna implement hilt and uh, uh, use the depend uh, like uh, use dependency injection with uh, using hilt okay so um, so first change that hilt makes is in your application class so if you uh, go to my your hilt application class you just have to uh, make your changes here that is hilt uh, Android app okay so this is the annotation that we have to write uh, uh, so instead of uh, needing to invoke a particular dagger component to be initialized with hilt you can just use hilt and uh, Android uh, app annotation in your application class so this application class is being used uh, yeah, you see it's been declared in my manifest so just uh, be careful you have added your application name in your uh, application uh, this um, attribute and uh, what else guys okay once again hilt application so just uh, uh, okay uh, uh, initialize it here using a hilt android app and then uh, uh, so this uh, snippet will let hilt uh, know that the entry point uh, into your application it will start generating the dependency graph okay so this will uh, start uh, is the entry point it will know the hilt that uh, it's the entry point of your application and will start generating the dependency graph okay based on this one so another benefit of hilt comes when in uh, interacting with android components such as activity fragments views services broadcast receivers for this we can use the 
um, at the rate Android entry point annotation to inject uh, dependencies for each of these classes like for example uh, like my main activity yield activity so you just need to add the Android uh, uh, entry point so this annotation uh, uh, Android entry point annotation uh, helps us to uh, inject the dependency to each of these classes right so uh, uh, so you can uh, inject any object uh, into your uh, activity using this entry point right and um, similar uh, thing can also be used in your view, uh, view model like for example you can annotate with the uh, hilt uh, view model uh, hilt view model and then you can inject uh, the necessary um, like constructions right like you can inject uh, uh, constructor okay let me just uh, your constructor like like private well uh, my op Object uh, like you know anything like any object right my object any anything right uh, so you can also do it in this way so um, and also as I told you you can also uh, in your activity you can inject it in this similar manner you can just use the inject annotation uh, and you can use latent val my object as a uh, any object right uh, like a class uh, a you know so this is the simple a injection okay and uh, So we can also observe that inject annotation carried over from dagger not requires the it doesn't requires the uses of modules right so uh, when it comes to modules hilt continues to appro the approach from dagger with one minor addition the uses uh, of the install in annotation so um, uh, so this as associates the annotated uh, modules with a particular component Hilt provides a set of pre-built components such as singleton uh, component, view model component, activity component, fragment component, so view component and service component. So these are uh, all uh, set of pre-built components which is already provided by Hilt. So you don't need to write them. So each of these components links uh, the lifecycle of the dependency inside the annotated module to the lifecycle of the uh, application, right? So uh let me uh so uh yeah uh, you just need to um like for example modules uh my module okay if you see in my module i have disabled the check-in because i was using uh using a dagger right and if you're uh, so I was I was in my previous lecture I was also using dagger uh, too uh, so uh, obviously if I you in, in uh, like you implement the dependency of yield it is going to ask you uh, the install in checks okay so this is um, so for the moment I have disabled install in checks but uh, usually uh, in yield we have to uh, provide also uh, install in this annotation in a singleton component class that is already provided by okay uh, provided by the hilt right uh, pre-built component uh, provided by hilt So this associates the annotated module with the particular component. Okay, this uh, annotated uh, it uh, associates actually. What it does is it associates the module with the particular component. That is our single uh, singleton component. Uh, that is uh, this singleton component is pretty much pre-built component uh, uh, provided by Hilt. Okay, uh, so uh, and. Uh, be careful like you uh, whenever you declare a module you have to uh, also specifically provide the install in uh, component that is uh, your module is associating with the component right this is very important otherwise your code will not compile okay 
and uh, when it comes with the instrumentation test he'll provide useful annotations for changing the dependencies for the test if you want to take advantage of this feature we need uh, to do the add the following dependencies like uh, this is um, you can for yield uh, testing uh, android uh, test uh, implementation you can write uh, com dot uh, google uh, the, uh, dot uh, dagger uh, yield uh, android uh, testing uh, testing testing uh, 0.44.2 okay so these are the dependencies and kept uh, android uh, test uh, com dot google dot dagger um, yield uh, android uh, com compiler 2.44.2 so so these are the yield testing libraries dependencies that you have to implement if you want to take advantage of the yield testing features right so um uh like it's pretty simple like i can just give you one some imp simple example like of a test uh in your instrumentation test because we have added the instrumentation test library so in your example uh instrumentation test i can write another uh, uh class uh, called uh, my instrumented uh, test so you just need to annotate to with uh, your hilt uh, android uh, test you see and then uh, you just need to uh, get the rule uh, which is like uh, your uh, hilt uh, rule uh, hilt android Yield Android uh, rule uh, passing this uh, test instance, and uh, you just need to do the initialization before doing the test. Uh, that is, uh, you have to uh, pass the inject, uh, you have annotated with the inject, and let it val uh, my object, uh, what you want, uh, whatever object you want to. Uh, uh, like inject is uh, 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 like my class uh, like class a okay so this is my object I want to inject and before you just need to uh, uh, inject the hilt rule right so this is how and then you have to write your following test right uh, function write your test here okay and yeah you write your uh, test here right your test so this is the simple procedure right so uh, to provide the test dependencies we can write our new uh, module in the android test folder uh, like um, test dependencies we can also have uh, like uh, provide our test dependencies right uh, test uh, dependent dependencies uh, like uh, module you can have uh, test uh, install in uh, like uh, components uh, like your components is your uh, singleton component singleton component uh, and you uh, replace uh, with uh, uh, my module class whenever you write the test you can just uh, uh, create your test module uh, class uh, my test module um, and you uh, so right okay uh, you provide uh, provide uh, provide my 
object uh, let me just reduce this so that we can have the clear view the window so object uh, uh, my object uh, like you can see my class uh, a is uh, my uh, test uh, uh like you can provide any test object right so here like a class uh, my test object so my test object right uh, oh, okay so you can uh, uh, Test object it doesn't have any. Uh. Okay, so um. So here what it's gonna do is gonna uh, replace uh, my test module no sorry uh, it will replace my module to with my test module uh, uh, from the uh, existing my module uh, from the dependency graph with my test module uh, which can provide a different subclass of, uh, of a dependency we want to swap okay uh, so it will provide a different subclass uh, uh of the dependency so uh, you can also actually uh, uh use also the different uh as you can see you are using a test uh, install in annotation here right so uh, we can also actually create a custom test runner uh, to provide a test application from the hill library okay the the runner can be looking like this one uh, like for example i'm just writing a uh, normal test class runner test uh, runner for hilt uh, class uh, yield uh, test uh, runner right so unit uh, runner uh, okay new uh, application uh, and it's gonna return sorry uh, new application uh, class name is by yield uh, test uh, application class dot java dot name uh, yeah so this is the simple uh, yield test runner uh, that you are gonna just uh, provide it uh, in your test uh, just need to replace it in your build uh, gradle uh, you know right now we are using a uh, android G unit runner but you can just replace it with your hilt uh, test runner right test uh, instrumentation runner with your uh, hilt uh, test runner uh, how can you your hilt test runner uh, it's inside my uh, okay this is my yield uh, test runner right so let me just comment it down for the moment but uh, you just need to declare it in this way okay so uh, 
okay so now uh, let's go and implement a simple uh, practical exercise where we are gonna use and uh, implement uh, this randomized application which generates the random number using the hilt uh, okay so we have added our necessary dependencies uh, after that what we're gonna do uh, in our application model uh, hilt application model okay obviously we have declared our uh, one second guys uh, let me just close my uh, and go to my di package where I'm gonna use the hilt so in my so in the hilt we have our uh, we need to create our uh, uh, hilt application module so in this hilt application model what we are gonna do is we're gonna uh, so provide uh, the random number that is a random and so random instance son and also you need to uh, this is a provider so we have to annotate it with a provides uh, and we also need another provider for provide uh, provide the number uh, repo hilt uh, number repo z story so hilt number repository we have a random uh, uh, it's a uh, my hilt uh, number repository implementation and you just need to provide the instance of a random and here we have to annotate it with the provides because it's a provider right and just be careful it's a module uh, and installs in uh, so you need to de define your uh, component uh, the predefined component provided by hilt as a single end component uh, okay so here first thing we de defined our uh, application like hilt application module right so uh, and then uh, obviously in our hilt application we have uh, added hilt android uh, app so then now we need to modify uh, like go and change our hilt uh, view model uh, so in our hilt view model we're gonna inject our uh, dependency is our number repository hilt number repository right so this hilt number repository is just injected as a dependency uh, and in our now let's go to our hilt activity yeah we have just added our android entry point here uh, and then uh, obviously we need to inject our uh, uh, okay let's go and inject our uh, let's define our well uh, view model uh, hilt view uh, model by view models uh, okay so uh, here what we're gonna do is our uh, view model we need to just uh, uh, just need to observe our live data uh, yeah but before that we need to also uh, update our view model because uh, generate we have need to first post right uh, post the value of uh, using the number uh, repository that is pass uh, injected as a dependency and it just post the value so that we will now observe in our activity so observe uh, uh, our, our uh, random number and update the view so our text view uh, will be uh, set with this uh, observed value and then whenever you will click the button 
button uh, we need to uh, use our view model uh, sorry guys view model to uh, generate the next number and uh, yeah that's it guys so yeah it's pretty simple just rem uh, see the difference guys we have pretty s less classes than compared to the dagger which had more multiple classes right we need to define different like scope you know activity modal components and uh, sub component you know so a uh, lot of boilerplate course is, uh, is being reduced so let's me sync and uh, run the application and see if it is working Okay, here something missing. Uh, singleton uh, generate injector is injected health number repository. Uh, uh, implementation. Uh, okay, what we have done here. Uh, okay, everything is working fine here. So what's the problem here? Uh, single c implements hilt application generated injector so missing binding a hilt number which cannot be provided with the provide annotation method number repository uh, okay uh, okay uh, Build view model we have injected uh, the constructor uh, number repository okay so that's pretty working fine oh, this is our main activity like your health activity uh, health activity uh, so we have our entry Android entry point uh, application uh, can I provide it with the provide Anderson method uh, is injected uh, it is injected So yeah, let me see what's uh, wrong here. Field view model. So we have our unnecessary uh, health application, health activity. Let me just uh, remove this injection here uh, because I was just doing it for demo because we don't need this injection for the moment, right? So let me clean the project again and uh, let me build it again. Okay, uh, uh, 
okay. Uh, build uh, number repository. Uh, uh, clean and rebuild it again. Okay, yeah, it's, it was just a problem of the uh, this uh, repository. Okay, let me randomize. Yeah, it's pretty working fine, guys. You see, you have generated the random numbers. Uh, okay, guys, so that's it about the hilt. It's much better. It reduces a lot of boilerplate codes compared with the dagger too. As you can see here, the difference. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven classes. Where I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like almost reduced uh, the boilerplate code by half, like fifty percent. You know. So that's uh, how it is. And like uh, uh, hilt is the most. Uh, it's a recommended way of doing dependency injection in Android app. And uh, yeah, enjoy your uh, uh, Android application development using Hilt. And uh, if you have any questions, just comment me below. And please do uh, subscribe me and just support me, guys, so that I'll be coming with much cool uh, lecture videos in future. Thank you, guys.